Hello, Father James Kubicki here with a thought on today's gospel. This year, we're going through Mark's gospel, but because it's the shortest, we're currently supplementing our reading of Mark with the sixth chapter of John's gospel, in which Jesus teaches us about the Eucharist. Last week, we heard how Jesus fed a multitude with just five loaves of bread. Today, we hear how the crowds came looking for Jesus again, and he challenges them, telling them that they're really not looking for him, but, as the gospel puts it, because you ate the loaves and were filled. This is a common temptation. I mean, wouldn't you be drawn to someone who made sure you never went hungry or who paid all your bills? But remember, when Jesus was tempted in the desert and he fought the devil by quoting scripture? Remember one of the verses from Deuteronomy he quoted? One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Jesus is saying that there are more important things than material goods and that you shouldn't expect to get a free ride in life. He's saying that while we need to pay attention to our daily bread, the food we need to sustain our bodies, we also need to pay attention to the daily bread that sustains our souls. And that isn't simply his words as many Christians think. Jesus makes it clear in today's gospel that the bread that he gives is more than his words more than his teaching. He said point blank, I am the bread of life. He didn't say my words are the bread of life. Yet at every mass, he gives us both, both his words in the Bible and his very self in Holy Communion.